Hi, and this lesson is all about sizing balloons, which is really important when we're going to be building decorations. Because what you want is two things really. You've got to make sure the balloon is the correct size, not too large, or it's much likely to burst, and it will be extended, and they won't pack so well, and um, not too small. You don't want them too squidgy. And the main thing is you've got to get them uniform. They've got to be all the same size. This really makes a difference. If you're building a structure, you need all the building blocks to be identical and then the whole thing looks symmetrical. It looks really professional and uh, it'll be a really good job. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a latex balloon, if you just bear with me. And we'll start inflating that just with a simple hand pump. As you can see at the moment, that's too small. The, the balloon is very squidgy and it's a little bit over round. And as you continue to add air, what you need to do is watch this little piece of neck here. Because what happens, you get to a point where the neck starts to extend and the balloon becomes more like the shape of a pear. And that's when you've gone too far. So if you just keep watching the line of this balloon and as soon as it starts to open up, that's when you've gone too far. So we're getting pretty close here. So what I tend to do is just initially go a little bit past and you can see that neck is just starting to bulge a little bit. So we just let a little bit of air over there and that's perfect. Now what you'll need to do with your balloons, because they will vary from batch to batch and also from colour to colour, is before once you start off is to inflate a balloon and get it to the perfect size where it's that nice shape. It's still got a little bit of squidge to it so that when you handle it it's not likely to burst. And then when you've got that you need to measure it, measure the diameter. Now this is, this is normally a 10 inch balloon but from experience uh, we're probably going to find that that's going to be more like uh, nine, 9 inches diameter. Once you've got that diameter you need to make yourself a sizer. Now you can buy professional sizers but if you're just doing a few balloons for yourself it's really not worth the expense and it's very simple to make your own. You can either put two too heavy weights on a desk, space them out the correct amount and then you can drop the balloon down into the sides just touch. Or what I find is really easy is just get yourself a big cardboard box and I'll just have to have one here and cut yourself a square. It doesn't have to be round and then you just press your balloon until the sides touch and you can just let a little bit out there and then you know that balloon is the perfect size for this particular project. So you carry on and each time you blow the balloon up you just make sure the sides just touch and it just moves through. And then you know you're going to have great balloons, they're all going to be perfect shape and we're good to go. So in the next video I'll show you how to tie these balloons together and we'll form pairs and quads. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, bye then.